here at Covington Plaza at Fusion Yoga with the co-owner Celeste. Hi Celeste. Hi, how are you Jessica? <laughs> Good. Good, doing wonderful. And I'm super excited about being able to move today, learn some fitness moves from you and give some tips to our viewers. I am so <laughs> excited to show you some yoga and just general strength and fitness things as well. So mm -hmm. can't yes. Wait. So first, tell me about Fusion Yoga. Yeah, so Fusion Yoga has um, over 60 classes a week. Um, we do this because the yoga that we offer here, we range from gentle restorative yoga to much more physical, powerful yoga. We have three yoga studios within this space. Nice. Two of the yoga sp spaces are unheated and one is hot. Um, we utilize all the rooms throughout the week for different classes, anything again from prenatal to one-on-one -on -one sessions to even Thai yoga massage. Wow, nice variety, yeah. yes. So what is the main difference between the hot rooms and the unheated? So the hot room, not only is it about 102 degrees, <laughs> but it also is very, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Um, it's very humid. It's great in the winter. Yeah. yeah. No, oh, yeah. save money on airfare. You don't need to go to Florida. Just come to Fusion Yoga. Right. Um, but it's also humid. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what that does is it allows people to be able to go a little bit deeper into some of their poses. Mm -hmm. um, it also helps to elevate the heart rate. Um, it does help with calorie burn during that time. But however, that being said, um, the unheated studio is awesome and it is not a better workout in the hot room or the unheated room it is just different just different okay and you guys have been here for six years which is incredible congratulations yeah, what made you choose um, to come to fort wayne and open up fusion yoga well um it was really a lot of things. Um, at the time, there was not a dedicated hot yoga studio in town. Okay. So we are the first true hot yoga studio here in town. Additionally, um, we don't subscribe to any one particular type of yoga. There is a lot of different yoga out of there and it's all wonderful and great. Mm -hmm. But we really try to let our teachers um, teach what they are experts in. And so um, part of our mission statement is just that um, we honor each teacher's journey. And so they have the Love freedom mm -hmm. to look at each student in each class and teach specifically to that. Yes, that's awesome. Nice freedom. And you also have merchandise yes. and yoga fit and attire. And as you guys can see, I am wearing some of the yoga wear here. Tell us about what I'm wearing. So you are wearing the Lululemon Align Legging, which is definitely a bestseller. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so if you are wanting to try Lululemon Aligns because your friend, your grandma, your granddaughter, whatever, <laughs> has talked about them right, now, they're right. so buttery soft, you can actually get them here in town. You don't have to go through all of that online ordering hassle and pay for shipping and all of that kind of stuff. Just come visit us. Uh, we also carry free people movement, glider, spiritual gangster. Um, we have candles from Patty Wax. We've got a large variety of athleisure wear, which since COVID, there's nothing else. There's, no there's only yes. <laughs> You want to be cozy and comfortable always. And these are super silky soft. Yes. So yes. I'm excited to move. We're going to show them some yoga all moves. All right, let's do some all yoga. Right, let's do it. <laughs> Right, Jessica, welcome to our hot yoga studio. Ooh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're experiencing that heat and humidity. And one thing that I forgot to mention earlier even is that what is so cool about our heating system is that we're constantly pulling air from the outside in. Oh. So it's not recycled air, it's fresh air from the outside coming in. So it's pulling, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's really great. And that had to be really important with COVID. <laughs> oh, incredibly important. All right. All right. So, welcome to your yoga mat. Thank you. I'm <laughs> All right. I'm going to show you a couple of things for the low back because that's an area on a lot of people that gets really tight and achy. So, there's just a couple really simple things that you can do um, every single day that can help. So, we're going to start off actually coming down onto our hands and our knees. Okay. And we're gonna bring our palms down onto the ground and go ahead and spread your fingers wide so you can see the color of the mat between your fingertips. Put a little tiny bit in your elbows so that we're not locking through the joints. And as you inhale, just pull your heart forward, 
And as you exhale, drop your head around your spine like a cat. Oh yeah. Yeah. So inhale, opening the heart. This is cow. And exhale, round to cat. So the breath is so important. And one of the things that I think it's important for everyone to realize with yoga is just simply breathing mm -hmm. is yoga. We don't breathe fully enough. Let's do mm -hmm. one more. Inhale. And exhale. Just come to a neutral spine. We'll walk our hands back. All we're going to do here is bring our hands to our hips. And we're going to step our right leg forward. Good. Now here, a lot of times we think, okay, let's get a deep stretch and we go way deep in here and we arch our back and we do this big, huge Instagram looking stuff, but <laughs> it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to look big to do a lot. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do right here is with your right foot on the ground, bring your right foot forward just a little bit more. There you go. Perfect. Imagine you were trying to pull your right heel back towards your left knee. Okay. And then pull your left knee forward. Like imagine you were pulling your left knee forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Now right here, inhale, lift your arms up to the sky, get as tall as you can, and keep dragging the left knee forward, just energetically. As you exhale, just cactus your arms. Good, and then inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, cactus your arms. Now this time, make a fist and then bring your hands to the low back, and then lift the skin of your low back up. Good. You should feel not only that pressure of the low back going away, but also the left psoas, the front thigh, also getting a little stretch. Mm. And release it down. Last thing I'm gonna show you is go ahead and come down back into that tabletop, and we're gonna come all the way down to our bellies. Okay. All right, so we're gonna bring our thumbs right along our rib line and we're gonna squeeze our elbows in towards us, towards the back, there you go, good. Now press the tops of your feet down to the ground so you can relax, yeah. Now I want you to imagine that you have been in the desert for days and days mm -hmm. and finally you see water ahead of you. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna just reach out forward with your chest and imagine that you were trying to get that little bit of water, yeah, and then drop it down. Let the head relax a little bit. So let the chin stay down, kind of like you have a small apple between chin and chest. Mm -hmm. Reach out for the water, inhale, lift. That's perfect. And exhale down this cobra pose. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, reach forward for the water. And exhale, drop down. Lifting up into your tabletop. Bring our legs around. Just sitting in a crisscross applesauce, one ankle in front of the other. All right. And inhale, reach our arms up. Bring the hands to the heart. Thank you for sharing your time and some of your amazing yoga moves. Oh, you did great. You. Thank you. This was great. I already feel the release in my back. Good, <laughs> yeah. So it's so important that we don't go too big, right? Mm -hmm. Smaller, less is more. Yes. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you, Celeste. Yeah. And you all can check out Fusion Yoga by going to their website, seeing their services, booking an appointment, and namaste. I'll see you after the break.